I'm Ben Lamb. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Chaotic Moon Studios, a creative technology studio based in Austin, Texas. What I'm really excited about is Bluetooth Smart. I don't know if you remember old school Bluetooth, but it completely sucked. It was huge, drain your battery, it was hard to pair, and for the most part, it was just an earpiece. What's great about Bluetooth Smart is it's low energy, it syncs with multiple devices, and it's easy to pair. It's so easy to pair that my mom can actually do it, which is great in some capacities so that she can use a lot of great connected devices, but bad in others because there's so many devices that she can now call me about. So Bluetooth Smart's really amazing because it is powering so many interesting uses of the technology around connected devices. There's now activity bands, smart watches, smart televisions that talk to smart watches, that talk to activity bands, that talk to you know your car and everything else. What's great about it is you know the just creation of all these wonderful devices. The negative about it though is these are all single task devices, right? Like, are you really going to have 50 watches and you know, 50 Fitbit type devices, they're all talking to each other because that's just going to be a nightmare to charge and you're not going to want a million calls from your mom every week. Where is this all going? I really think it's going to go one of two ways. I think you're going to see, A, what you saw at CES, which is just a million single-use devices just continually going out into market, which I don't think is the right approach for you know, for the technology and also just the entire ecosystem. The second piece is I think it could go cloud-enabled preferences, which is really interesting. I read this really great article about Bill Gates' house where even though he wasn't using Bluetooth Smart because this was a couple years ago, he was actually using RFIDs. He gave everyone an RFID chip, so when you came in, it set the preference to, you know, what music you liked, what art you liked, also uh, what, you know, the t even the temperature in the rooms, individual rooms you liked. Nothing sounds more interesting to me as a consumer is walking into a hotel, it automatically sets to the temperature I like regardless of what city I'm in, sets the right music that I, that I like, and it makes sure that everything in, in the room is actually catered to me. I think that this kind of seamless ecosystem around preferences using the cloud and Bluetooth Smart could be really great. So that's where I think it's going, and I think that if we use Bluetooth Smart in a, in a smart way, I think it'd be really powerful.